Greetings fellow travelers and cruisers. Time for another port of call. This time we're in San Juan, Puerto Rico, and it's a beautiful sunny day. You can see all the cruise ships behind us. We're gonna come into port. We'll show you what uh, there is to see in the immediate area, and we may go to the place where the pina colada was actually invented. So stick with us for that, and we'll see you on the tour. Okay, let's go. Okay, so if you're uh, joining us for the journey here, what we've done is we just came down the main uh, port exit area and we're turning left. We're heading away from the sun, so that's going to be to the west. And uh, we're going to head up towards uh, the next street and then cut over and back in through town. And then we'll wheel back around back towards the ship. So we're going to stay uh, probably within a two mile radius over here. But off to the left, you can get some uh, jewelry. They've got uh, vendors out here. Uh, standing in the sun boy it's gonna be a warm one today but uh, a lot of nice uh, stones and uh, sunglasses here if you if you see a pair you like they'll hook you up uh, we saw some $8 t-shirts already I imagine once you get further away things start to get a little more reasonable as, as you go so uh, we'll see if we can get us some deals uh, we'll show you the shopping and show you the places to eat that sort of thing along the tour okay so they've got uh, some custom keychains hi guys hello first and second table $2 per item, $2 per item first and second table $10 hats okay that's a good deal they say Puerto Rico we may uh, we may do that uh, we'll definitely yeah we'll definitely do a little shopping here it seems like seems like they have some good prices okay get you some tie-dye items vintage tie-dye 8 to 15 they got child sizes they got belts headbands if you want them And some local art. Very cool. Got some street vendors out here uh, making up some foods. People are cutting some deals. We got some local artists out here. Hard at it. Oh, it's, oh, it's beautiful. It's pretty good, actually. Wow, I'm a I'm a picky art guy too, and uh, the, that had some nice uh, nice flow. It's, it just seems fluid and alive to me. So wow, they've got some really nice uh, leather goods, beautiful belts. Amazing, beautiful work. There's a place to eat here. You can get you Bacardi. That's La Castilla. They've got handcrafted and boy, look at the size of this coconut right here. That's a big coconut drink if you get one at that size. Okay, so this is Plaza del Immigrante. It was put here in 1992 uh, by the municipality of San Juan. And uh, there it is. We had a a gentleman walked by and said that this was the most stupid statue in the city. So apparently there's some uh, political uh, debate over uh, this statue, Al Immigrante. But there it is. Uh, it's facing north right here, just off the port. You can see the ships over there. If you want to come see the controversy, uh, there he stands. Okay, so what we're discovering is that uh, you come across a little bit of the old and the new when you're here in San Juan. So here are the original fortifications just off the beach. You can see the ocean front right there. And this would be one of the older uh, structures. So if you were to come here, say, 400 years ago, 500 years ago, this would be a good contact point or something that you could uh, use as a frame of reference of where the modern city is compared to the ancient city. So uh, very cool to see. Uh, that type of structure uh, still exposed and and it really it looks it looks even stronger to me uh, those types of structures just get uh, just get better with time so uh, awesome okay we've got some more vendors down the line here and uh, we'll see what they've got it looks so this structure is actually the peso de la princesa so that was the palace of the princess uh right here and it's next to la castilla so it, very interesting uh there's the map of the city if you want to uh pause it for a second and get a better look if you're on your way coming in here and you want to kind of prep ahead of time uh just hit that pause button for a second and you can see kind of where the ships come in where the taxis are and then where things in the in the city are okay so there's the there's the bay right there beautiful day 
and they are uh, busy up there rebuilding those fortifications uh, that seems to have been an on ongoing battle for 400 years I guess right here on the ocean side the ocean spray comes in and uh, the sea is a powerful a powerful thing even these mega structures uh, have to do have some repairs over time okay so here's another uh, example of man versus nature you can see the trees are actually growing out of the ocean side of this mega structure uh, hundreds year old fortification so the roots will get in there they'll dig out a little bit and uh, make them more gap more roots more gap and then before you know it you've got some damage uh, in the castle walls just from the sea breeze and the plant life so it's got to be maintained uh, eventually nature probably even would take something of this size this close to the sea but it's still a, a beautiful structure it's a shame to see uh, some people have done some carving in here it still looks like some of the original uh, well this has probably been patched right here so this is probably more of the original uh, materials they're trying to protect it but uh, it's still a beautiful place and uh, it, it's absolutely massive I can only imagine if you're coming in a in a ship to try to attack this, this fortification they probably just turn the boat around and they're like no, no, I don't think so. Uh, these walls are like 30, 40, I don't know what it is, 40, 40 plus feet. So that's going to be 10, 12 meters out there at least. Uh, it, it would take a huge ladder and with somebody, it's a slanted wall and with somebody trying to even throw stones down on top of you to try to take that, it would be almost nearly impossible. So just a, just a beautiful place. There is the Puerto Rican gato right there pj gato he lives here at the fortification hey pal back to the hunt huh okay there's the san juan gate door solid wood oh i'd say about uh I'd say maybe maybe six inches thick it's got the iron bolts on the front of it. Interesting. Domed. It's got a domed ceiling. And then that would be the main entrance into the city uh, in from the 1500s to 1800s right there. So, Okay, so up up the brick road here and then it, there's really, make sure if you if you do this, make sure you wear really good shoes. Yes. It's kind of like a theme park with a lot of hills. You can see the surfaces here. You've got vehicles, service vehicles coming and going and uh, there's all kinds of security so you want to make sure that you're in the right area uh, and going to the right place so let's head up straight uh, through the city wow look at this sidewalk uh-huh boy those cats are all over the city yep it's like a straight 40 degree <laughs> ramp up up top Okay, so once you make that little climb up there through the main gate, we just turned right. We came down here, and this is Bari Handcrafted Pizza. Uh, shout out to uh, Uncle Ralphie there in downtown Chicago. He's got the Bari uh, Sandwich and Pizza Shop, uh, or a local uh, grocery store uh, there right downtown. And uh, let's just take a quick peek in and see what it looks like. They do handcrafted pizzas. Looks like they've got some leather goods and some other hats and uh, items just across the hall there. If you're looking for some uh, some themed items, then they got the pizzeria in here. It looks like you can buy some of their sauces, pizza sauces, and things like that. And see what the seating looks like. I don't think they're quite open yet. Uh, we just got off the ship, and it's a pretty early bird. But let's just poke our head in and see if we can see what it looks like. Oh, okay. There we go. Just getting to work. All right. We got some nice outdoor seating out here. You can uh, check out the restaurant there, order, and you can sit right here in the shade. So uh, what we're trying to do is just hug the shade side as much as possible, and uh, that way we can prolong uh, the time we can spend in the day, because the sun, we're gonna have full sun, it's full heat, but it's a beautiful day, and it's really a, uh, an awesome city. So if you haven't been or stopped, they've got a lot of themed items and themed characters right here. Uh, you can get a, a photo with some characters and uh, it's, it's just a great place.
So this is what I like. They have kind of like the old blended with the new here. Yeah. And it's got that old European feel. You've got the old streets, kind of the narrow streets, and then they got a lot of uh, workers out here working at the same time. There's all the pigeons over there with everybody. And this must have been uh, the old church or chapel gate is what I'm going to guess. Yeah, it's uh, the chapel of uh, Santa Cristo, Saint, uh, Saint Chris. And uh, I wonder if they still hold services in there. It's going to be right on the ocean and I, it looks familiar, but uh, I wasn't sure. So very cool. Calais de la Tetuan, you can get a, uh, some authentic foods and a, a cocktail or a spirit there. So basically where we are is we are just up on top of those fortifications. There's a ship right there. So we walked down around the back. We went in the main gate. We came back down up and now we're back up top and we're going to make our way. And basically what we're going to do is just kind of keep the uh, port area in view. And then we'll just do a little, uh, little pattern on the way through. Uh, show you what there is to see. We'll do some shopping and then uh, we'll tell you what we think of the port. All right. And the city. So there is the Banco Popular de Puerto Rico, established in 1938. Look at the beautiful marble entry, and it goes all the way up there several stories, and it's uh, really got some amazing uh, architecture to this particular building. It's got a modern and uh, old look to it. Uh, big, big heavy uh, stone uh, foundation, and then kind of that Art Deco 19, uh, kind of like the 1920s feel to it. So it's, a, it's really a beautiful building. All right, so we found the uh, discount one. It's just a couple of blocks off from the port. It's called Paradise Souvenir Shop. They've got $10 t-shirts and uh, cover-ups and all kinds of good stuff. And let's just poke on in. Uh, 3X are only $10, so if you need a bigger size, this is looking uh, like a nice option. They got a lot of shirts and things. I think we're probably going to spend a little time in here. Becky, go ahead and look around and see if you can uh, see something you want to get to take back. And I'll just do a quick quick walkthrough for the everybody else out there uh, so they've got swimsuits they've got uh, tank tops they got cover-ups they got some nice music playing in here they got staff ready to go bags if you need them they've got hats in the back uh, if you didn't bring your white party clothes uh, for the white party on the ship you can get those uh, right here in this port uh, they've got sunglasses hats uh, keychains they've got some of those tropical necklaces right there stuffed animals plushies really it's uh, a, a lot of options uh, Let's talk about some prices here. So Frogger here, just pick one up randomly. That's well, That one's $22, so I'd say your uh, figurines are going to be in the $20 range here. If you're looking for some uh, junior Puerto Rico lifeguard gear, they've got those there. Sun, uh, more sun hats, uh, sweatshirts, towels, a little bit of uh, different theming on everything. They've got some wall hangers or some bigger beach towels. If you're into that, uh, something for Puerto Rico for your wall, you could get those. Lanyards over here. Uh, about five six bucks on those. Let's see what the hats are running 19 20 dollars not too bad So all right, we're gonna let me pair up with Becky here and uh, we'll do a little shopping and we'll get back to the tour Stick with us All right carrying on down this very busy street uh, off to the left. You've got uh, Porter Mar linen and beachwear that's gonna give me more of like a high-end uh, beachwear for you there there's all kinds of jewelry stores down this uh strip you've got blue diamond you've got the exotic gems boutique right here just take a little peek in uh you can see you got some of that uh, turquoise and topaz and uh looks like they've got a uh, one carat diamond ring uh for sale for 9.99 and zero zero cents uh don't know what the cut and quality of that is but uh it is in the store right here if you want to take a look and that is right there okay if you're looking for a cigar or maybe uh, get to smoke a Cuban or something like that out of the country, it might be possible over here. This is the Cigar House Cigar Lounge. Uh, my father's cigar lounge uh, right over there. That's a 257 next to the Dull House. And then next to that is going to be Piranha Joe Official Store. That's the wildest experience on the planet, they claim. Okay, I'll bite. No pun intended. There's the fish on the hook right there. Ha ha. Okay, in we go. We'll just take a quick look at uh, Piranha Joe's official stores so uh, come right in if you missed uh, your tropical 
clothing, gear, items uh, for the ship. You can get those right there if you're on the cruise uh, or if you're just visiting. It looks like uh, they have any and all things Piranha, Piranha t-shirts. They've got Piranha hot sauce. They've got Piranha seasoning. They've got Piranha hats. They've got Piranha Crocs, and they've got uh, Piranha music uh, playing on the on the speakers. I assume it's Piranha music, so uh, that's where that is right there. And just down Diamond Row, if you're looking for uh, some of that uh, Piranha gear, you can get it. And they've got some flasks. Puerto Rico. Let's just do a quick price check because people always ask. That one's thirteen dollars. Not too bad. Up next at 260 is going to be always 99. So everything in this store is 99 cents. They've got 50 cent uh, bottles of water. So if you're dying of thirst and you're not quite sure where to go, uh, you can pop right in here. If you just want a light snack, you're not uh, wanting to get into any street food or vendor food because you're not sure about your stomach or that sort of thing. I think everything's fine, but you never know depending on uh, if you if you have those food. Uh, things out there and you need to know exactly what it is uh, you can do that we're just gonna do a quick pan looks like basic items so if you need hey if you need some shampoo for the for the ship or, or something like that you can get it in here and uh, we're actually looking for some super glue they've got tank tops if you need one there not too bad eight bucks this is the Cosa Nostra bar in Italian cuisine uh, if you're looking for that it's right there uh, apparently that's Italian and they they have turned the uh, the secret organization into a caricature I guess. Okay. <laughs> we, we probably won't be going in that one. Oh, oh boy. There's uh, the Italian restaurant over there. So this might be like the little Italian section that they've got a couple of little shops and stores there. And then uh, James Souvenir Shop uh, t-shirts. Three for ten dollars on this one, Becky. So uh, sometimes you notice they have the signage out front. They've got like a little rack with like two options to actually choose from from that price. And usually that's the bottom price point and they move up from there. So uh, that means that most likely you're going to get ten dollar t-shirts in that store instead of three for ten in reality. So keep that in mind. Uh, at the end of that road right head down before you get to the main uh, central area where the big fountain and everything is right there is Sophia's Steaks and Pasta. So if you're wanting a high-end cut, uh, that is the old San Juan uh, steak restaurant that's been there uh, for a long time. So it's this green building right here. And if you just want to look for it, it's right at the end of the street and they're doing Okay, so there's the little fountain right there. This is the Crystal Bowl uh, Cologne statue right here in the, the central area. And then over there, that was that green uh, restaurant to get to Sophia's. And then they just have more vendors uh, everywhere. So anything you're looking for, they've got some silver jewels, uh, jewelry over here. You can get uh, custom made keychains, seashells, that sort of thing. Uh, they've got the local artists out here. And uh, pigeons and cats galore here in uh, San Juan. Okay, they got uh, fresh coconut water, five dollars. Pina colada, six dollars, and cold water, two dollars. They'll mix them up frozen right here. You can get you some blends, sixteen ounces, five bucks. Uh, add, add extra free, uh, extra fruit, organic fruit, fifty cents per scoop, and you can get uh, whatever you want. Got a nice little line right there, and it's right here uh, by the statue in the main, the main entry area. Rooster crossing the road. Here's the little baby chicks. Okay, everybody, so on the first part of the tour, we went to the left out of the port. We went up through the middle and brought you back down. This time, we're heading off to the right side of the port. Uh, just behind us, there's the cruise ships right there. Uh, if you want a Domino's pizza, they got them right here in that seven, eight dollar range. So if you're on a budget and you're looking for a little taste uh, of home, it's it's right there as well. Okay, so we're gonna carry on uh, this way. We'll make our way up to the fort, show you uh, what that looks like from up there, and then uh, see what we think of the think of the uh, of the city here. There's the Urban Paradise bar. Okay, they've got a lunch special, ten bucks plus tax. And Michelob Ultra is four dollars right there. Okay, so if you're looking for a photo op, they do have this giant seahorse right down here uh, in front of a nice little fountain. This is to down that right path, so it's really it's kind of nice and decorative around here. You can rent kayaks, sixty-five bucks an hour if you want, and you can take them out. Uh, this guy's out there cruising around uh, in the port. 
and uh, there's the celebration off there to the right. So uh, we're going to press up just ahead of us, circle back up around the uh, uh, the castle, and then we'll bring it back down the middle uh, towards the uh, towards the ships for the end. There's a nice catamaran uh, there. I don't know if it's private or if they uh, they let you rent that one. It might be a rental if you're looking to get on a catamaran boat ride uh, here at uh, San Juan. So, boy, we got another beautiful day for it. Okay, so we were over there by the by the uh, seahorse. What is it? Seahorse? Yeah, it is. Okay. Yeah. All right, so we were just over there by the seahorse. Come just across the street, and that'll bring you over to uh, Brazos Bar and Grill. They've got, uh, it's kind of like a little sports bar. They got the TV screens in there. Looks like mostly basketball and uh, soccer is going on, or American, or football, the Americano is what uh, we call American football. We call uh, regular football soccer in the States. So uh, there you go. You can watch some games in there. Bayside Bar and Grill uh, right next to it. It's got some nice seating, outdoor seating, and it's in the shade, and it's a, it's a warm one. So that, that's the Bayside at San Juan. I think they have some signature rums that you can get. Uh, we'll zoom in here. You might be able to scan that if you want to look at the uh, menu at home. Just pause that on the video, and you might be able to check that out. Okay, just coming down around that curve there, hug those signs, come across this little street, and you will come to La Vaca Biker Bar so you can get a scooter rental in there. They've got uh, some beverages and some drinks. They got this road pretty tore up, so I bet it's not too bad. Uh, as far as getting in there, it looks like they got some UFC fighting uh, on the screen here. Let's just poke our nose real quick and just see what they've got. Oh, they got a nice steaming skeleton. Got some music, got some motorcycles up on the bar. And uh, it's a little bit dimly lit. We're coming straight out of the direct sun, so it does look a little dark in there, but it's nice and cool. So if you're looking for a beverage, it smelled good. The food smelled good. Uh, you might be able to get you a nice burger in there or something. I, it did smell good. We're, we're getting close to lunch, so uh, we'll probably stop and get something. But that looked like a nice one. We're really trying to get to the top of the mountain. They got some construction here, so we'll catch back when we get out of it. They are working. Okay, just past that little corner there then you can come here to the uh, government building and they've got the memorial monument uh, right here it's got all the names of honor on it and it looks like they're uh, they're doing a lot of work they're upgrading the fountains they're upgrading the uh, the stairs and things but there it is uh, by the people for the people uh, shall not perish from the earth they got a nice uh, Abraham Lincoln quote there that's from our home state we are from the land of Lincoln okay and then the fort's gonna be up on top okay so there's the government building right there if you come down the road this will bring you to the Casa de España Hotel very beautiful building and nice setting right here on the main drag uh, I got a lot of parking out here if you need it so uh, this might not uh, be a bad spot if you're thinking about staying in the area okay so if you want to see the government building those hotels and those restaurants you can make that right loop and come up here it's a little bit of a walk so maybe get one of those scooters if you want and then that'll bring you back to the central area where you can cross right here and we're going to go head up and try to get up on top of the fort and show you the view from up there so there's a big group they got those scooters that i was talking about get you a muter, uh, motorized scooter i gotta say though make sure you're pretty nimble the traffic around here moves fast they don't really use their signals great and uh, you kind of just got to cross the crossways really quickly but they do have those scooters if you want to see them and uh, there are the fortifications we just got to get across this street somehow and uh, try to get up there okay we made it there's the other side wow we're up at the top of that hill and uh, there are the fortifications this is the uh, San Juan National Historic Site this is uh, Castile uh, San Cristobal. This is uh, St. Uh, Cristobal uh, Castle. And uh, we'll take you up for a quick tour. Uh, we may skip the gym today. We don't know. We'll see. That was a really steep uh, walk. I can only imagine being an ancient army and trying to see this thing on top of this hill up this steep embankment and then these 30, 40 foot uh, or 10 or 15 meter uh, castle walls and then you got a, you got the cannons facing you down I probably would have said no let's just let's just go <laughs> let's go somewhere else because wow this thing is huge it just really is huge oh we're, we're a hundred and we're a hundred and eighty feet off the ground uh, for sea level right here so they, that would just be a straight march up just absolutely impossible really so uh, there it is here's the uh, the entryway and we'll we'll bring you through to see some of the sights Wow, we are really high up. Where do you get the tickets? 
National Historic Site, San Juan, Puerto Rico. Here is San Juan, or the oldest European type masonry fortifications in the United States territory. This historic site includes Spanish built forts, uh, several of them there from 1525 to 1787, and built uh, right on top of each other. And then they made up the island of Puerto Rico uh, originally. So uh, there's the fort, there are the guards, there's the gates. And there it is. Okay. All right, everybody. That's going to wrap up the San Juan, uh, Puerto Rico uh, tour. It's just a brief tour here. We showed you some of the places to eat, some of the sights to see. Uh, make sure you wear really good shoes. We've got a really warm day. As you can see, you got beautiful seascapes behind you. We're way up top top up high here at the top of the fort probably about 120 130 feet off this off the sea uh, ancient fortifications really if you come off you want to do that left trip like what we did you can go through there and find you more restaurants more shopping and things to see on that side if you're looking for that quieter place to eat like the the biker bar get you a burger get you a hot dog uh, something chill over there or if you want those uh, Domino's pizzas and things you want to go to the right just kind of hug that uh, seahorse there and then stick through that area once you get up there you can see the government buildings there's not a lot there just some of the historical stuff to see uh this is the uh castle site it's only 10 bucks a person but we're already feeling the sun we've got another port stop in nassau bahamas day after tomorrow and then we're going to do ocean cam we're going to do some snorkeling videos and we get absolutely cooked when we do that so we're just trying not to get too burned but we wanted to show uh everybody out there where things are uh what you can see and what you do and what did you think of uh Puerto Rico. Yeah, very beautiful place. We love just all of the sightseeing, the views. If you ever get a chance, definitely come check it out. Yeah, it's really awesome. It's a little bit mix and match, so you've got some of the old world and the new uh, together, right. and uh, we couldn't have had a better day for it. So thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and we'll see you all on the next tour. Uh, bye, fellow travelers.